So you have, it's not like su super, so don't get super hyped, but um, I know you've been complaining oh. about your watch. So, I complain a lot. Oh, I know you, I know. I watch my show. <laughs> okay. Um, so That's fair. you've been complaining about your watch and how you're like, man, I, oh, you, t you don't have one right now. So you were like, oh, um, I hate, um, I, I hate how like the Samsung gear, like it doesn't last a day or, and um, you said like, I want something that just does like notifications and all that stuff. I kind of miss my pebble and stuff. Well, as a pebble time, two times Kickstarter enthusiast, nice. I've got you a Kickstarter edition pebble time. No way. In the it's not new, but like I've got That's the charger. Awesome. So it's, it says Kickstarter on the back. If you want more, if you want the 10 day battery life, you can track down a steel. But I want you to give this one another try, because okay, all right, yeah. you will see it on my wrist. You yeah. will see it on my wrist. Well, I want to see if it meets your needs, because I've still been, I've had this one, my time steal for like the longest time, and you can see it in my videos. Like the battery life, you know, even though ba lithium batteries decay and stuff, but because it started with a still ten day did. battery life, I'm still at like a week. So yep, um, it's legit. Yeah, Pebbles. Pebbles are one I of the thought coolest. That was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So that's all yours. I'm man. super into it. Yeah. Pebble, Pebbles lit. Yeah, we were. All right, I'm gonna give it a shot because the reality of it is, most of the additional benefits of like modern smartwatches, when they work at all, <laughs> are around health, right? Like health tracking. But I switched to the Ura Ring ages ago, and honestly, you know, I okay, I haven't hooked myself up to a proper you know, machine. I mean, that was a video concept we had years ago. We were going to hook up to like uh, therapeutic grade equipment and then also wear every fitness tracker, like yeah. consumer grade fitness tracker and smartwatch on the market and see which one actually got closest to real like health diagnostic equipment. Right. And it was really complicated to get a lab that would cooperate with us. We weren't going to like stupid UBC local university was like, yeah, you can rent our lab at the normal commercial rate. I'm like, are you guys idiots? Well, at this first, like, at first, basically a research project. Yeah. Like, we're collaborating. This is not us renting a facility from you. At first, they wanted to pay us. And then <laughs> and then like right before we were going to go, they were like, uh, actually, psych, can you, you know, <laughs> do it the other way around and pay us to borrow our lab? And I was like, wait, what? Huh? No, I thought we were like, doing this like wanted... as a collab thing. I even like, told them like you don't need to pay us. Yeah, like we're providing all of this equipment, and we bring the audience, and you guys bring your equipment and some expertise. We work together. We publish it together with co credit. Like we're just we're working together as like educators right now. This yeah. is no, we're not we're yeah. we're not profiting from the data we could make any other video today i was know? so excited about that project so some background as to why they wanted to work on it was there's the in vancouver there's the seawall yeah and there's this thing where like old people that are trying to stay in shape will will bike or run along the seawall and one of the problems is that they were they were noticing a trend where they would wear a wearable that would track their heart rate but it would under report their heart rate that's not good so they would be over exerting themselves and then they would have heart problems heart failures while they're running along the wall um That's not so good. they like wanted to collab with us to work on this cool project and then they just yeah pulled the plug last minute it's it such a, a project that mattered a lot yeah, yeah. Um, it was like actually, actually pretty really cool, cool. Yeah. like i would so i haven't yeah. compared to anything real but from what feels intuitive this is so much more accurate than anything else i've ever tried like it's not even close i'd be on the badminton court running around luke knows how i play hard yeah. and my apple watch would be like you need to stand up for a bit. <laughs> yeah. what, what are you talking about? You know? Like, um, or I'd be driving and it'd be like, wow, great job staying active. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah. this thing, it's in it's in 15 minute chunks and it it makes perfect sense. I can be like, oh yeah, that was when I woke up in the middle of the night and there was some physical exertion, you know, like <laughs> You know, it, you can really put together, yeah, what was I actually doing? And it makes sense, right? Um, so if I don't need any of the health tracking stuff at all, and I just want notifications quickly and to be able to tell the time, 
the pebble is still the best solution. Yep, it's it drives me nuts that I haven't like seen anything else. I I don't want anything like I don't want a dumb phone on my wrist. I want like a better watch. Like yeah. um because like with all the smartwatches, they're just like cut down smartphones and they're like they pack on all the features that you know it's like they do all these things but like they don't do the things i want well which is like to have a week-long battery life to have a screen that's always on that i don't have to flick it and wait for it to boot up you know and to tell the time yeah tell the time (laughs) and then show the notifications occasionally control music and like be a watch like so pebbles are you know what i hope someone else makes a pebble like thing I still have a Pebble Time kicking around, and I still use it almost every, uh, probably about every other day in the summer. Um, I haven't actually tried to use it as a watch, and I, I honestly like the idea of going back to the OG one to see if it's still better ten years later. Almost, what what are we at? Like eight years? Nine? The ori- you're saying the the Pebble Time or the original Pebble? The Kickstarter one that you just uh, the, is that the OG or is that the so that's the OG one, right? Both of them, both of them were uh, so both of them were uh, Kickstarters. So the yeah. one okay. I have yeah. is the second, is the the second, the second one. one, the Time. So the Time. Oh, that's the Time, the color one. Yeah. So this is the oh, Time. Oh, perfect. Okay, because mine is trashed. Yeah. Um, I use it. I, I, I literally, like, it, it has all this uh, residue all over the back, so it's not comfortable to wear against my wrist anymore because I upgraded it, and I was like, oh, you know what's really great about this thing is the physical buttons on it because I couldn't, I could never change the track when I was riding my bike. And I was like, oh, I should just, like, basically glue my pebble time to my motorcycle. And so I did, and it's, like, kind of trashed now. So... But there have been times now that it, I just haven't had a good experience with anything else that I've been tempted to just like try and try yeah. and get it going again. But no, yeah, if man, I'm I'm jacked. Yeah, like the, I am. I am jacked it's, to go back to it. I'm going to try it. That's uh, it's one of the few. The Pebble is one of the few technologies where I am like gung ho. Like I'm like that. And I'm also like a, a tube monitor nerd as well. So like those two things are like two of the things where I'm just like, oh. <laughs> thanks for watching. And thanks to Secret Lab for sponsoring this week's clips. Secret Lab chairs are engineered to keep you comfy. And with up to five years of warranty and a 49 day return policy, you're covered if anything goes wrong. Head to the link in the description to get your Secret Lab chair today.